Time for a change too. Second video today. Now, let's use a biblical reference. Actually, let's take this back. One of the earliest videos I did, I tried to think of the most ridiculous thing, example I could think of. And some of you actually focused on that, not on what I was saying. I was saying I believe in unicorns. Well, would you believe, I've looked into this a little bit more, there are 14 references to unicorns in the Christian Bible. And if you look at the Latin name for a rhinoceros, an extinct version, or I believe it's extinct with a single horn, it is rhinoceros unicornus. So maybe unicorns aren't so, such a daft idea after all. So I take it back what I said about unicorns. Clearly there was something at one time, even when it doesn't exist today, that did exist. It's contained in its Latin name. Another little bit of a wisdom contained in the Bible when it says, Jesus says, cast your nets on the other side. Let's think about, let's think about that, casting the nets on the other side. Where are you looking for your answers? Are you waiting for some deity to give them to you? Are you asking me? Are you asking other people? <laughs> I don't know the answers. It's no good asking me. I'm just the same as you. The difference is I've opened up a channel. Think of it like a Google Earth or a cloud. I'm downloading information from something that it doesn't have anything tangible to it any more than the internet does if you haven't got the equipment to bring that information through it's your pineal gland keep it open or open it up the information will come but where is this information you're looking all out you're all looking out what about looking in within you. Where does change first start? It comes from within you. Your desire to be curious about things. I mean, I've heard so many people throughout my life moaning about this or that, working too many hours, they hate their job, they don't like the working hours, whatever it happens to be. But what are you doing about it? The control system will tell you that you're insignificant. I don't like all this fighting and violence that's going on in the world. I don't like cruelty to children. I don't like cruelty to animals. I can't single-handedly do anything about it on my own any more than you can. But we can start making a change from within. The last video I showed you the garden I have created using what is already there. Don't I mean, some of you may not have a garden. You may not have the same things. Everybody is individual. You've all got individual circumstances. Never mind what you haven't got. Look at what you have got. It's from that you can make the changes. And it comes from within, from being open to want to do something. This is why I'm doing these videos. I'm thinking, how can I make a change in this world? Do I pick up a gun and take on... The Russians or the United States or the Israeli army. What do you think is going to happen there? I ain't going to stand a bloody chance. But by spreading the message and telling you that you are awesome, which you are, if you will just forget this stupid three-dimensional idea that you are nothing and you're insignificant. Because you are awesome. You are beings of light. If you could only see yourself, forget these human shells. You can believe what you want. I don't really care. Actually, the title of this video is called The Concept of Dilly Gaff. Earlier today, I went over to the local shops. I'd run out of tobacco. Yeah, I smoke. So what? Get over it. If you're a fire breather, smoke doesn't hurt you. The chemicals they put in might do. But I'll take that chance. Because I'm trying to change myself within. And I can fight that. I don't, I'm not registered with a doctor. I'm not ill. I'm signed off as being ill, but I can't tell my doctor I'm going through a spiritual awakening and I've got awakening sickness. He's not going to believe me because he doesn't understand the spiritual side, the unseen. Because whether you want to believe it or not, the truth is the truth. 
You can believe as much as you want. I'm wearing red. That can mean many things. It can mean danger. I could be the devil for all you know. It depends on your perception. Yeah, I am the devil. To those that want to keep us down and keep us enslaved and keep us in debt. Yes, to them I am the devil. They are fearful of me. Because I've worked it out and there are lots of other people doing it. Talk to Cosmic Christie on her channel. Go and listen to Cosmic Christie. Listen to Cryon. Things, every story has to start somewhere. I'm just a continual link in this. We are all teachers, we are all students, we are all observers. I don't have the answers. I don't claim to have the answers. But if I go to a garden centre, I just stand there for a while, I look round. I buy the plant or the flower that catches my eye because it's sending me a signal at a different level. I look at the ones that the bees are, are being attracted to and thinking, yeah, that's the, that's the plant I want, or that's the object I want. I mean, I've got no income. I ain't charging for this. This is a full-time job. What with looking after my mother, running this house, looking after this garden, making these videos, being administrator on various Facebook groups. I've got full-time work, but I don't earn anything from it. But I'm doing it because I want to. I don't, I'm not worried about anything else. This is dilly gaff. And if you don't know what that means, I'll just spell it out for you. Do I look like I give a flying... Right. I'm not saying the word in case there's young children watching it. But I went over the co-op. I didn't have this top on. All I had was trousers on. I, didn't, I went barefoot along the, along the pavements, across the road. Yeah, I got funny looks by some people. I don't care. I was expecting when I got to the co-op to say, oh, you can't come in without a top on. <laughs> to which my reply was going to be, well, you think count yourself lucky because I, a good thing I can remember to put trousers on, isn't it? But no, because I radiated, radiated out an energy of awesomeness. And it's as simple as that. That's all you've got to do. You can be what you want to be. You have incredible potential. You've got all this dormant DNA inside you. If you switch it on, you'll see a much greater expanse that I can't even put into words. Think of it like a radio station. If you're tuned into one radio station, I mean, you know there are other radio stations broadcasting. You can't tune into those. What if you open up your frequency and you can get them all coming to you? This is the same with this spiritual awakening. You can wake up. You can allow this to come in if you have the willingness to do it. It's the same as healing, sending out healing. It won't work to someone who is sceptical of it. It will only work to someone who is open to it. Let me give you another example how we can change things. It's called thinking out the box. Think of Leonardo da Vinci. He designed a helicopter 500 years before helicopters. Now, I don't know the answer to this. Did the Wright brothers have information from Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci, for example? I wouldn't have thought so. But there's a, a very good video about things that have been kept in the dark, like somebody who developed a car that runs on a pint of water and can go three, four hundred miles on that. They don't want you having free energy. But the point is, if you are thinking out the box, there is nothing new under the sun. We can do anything we want if we put our minds to it. Now, there's a, a thing called the truth. A lot of people don't like the truth. They can't handle the truth. The truth is the truth regardless of whether you believe it or whether you accept it or not. It is what it is. So, Take, for example, I like the, some of the songs by the Beatles. John Lennon got himself murdered for writing a song called Imagine after the Beatles had split up. Paul McCartney was murdered. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know some of you are going to say, whoa, he wasn't murdered, he's still alive today. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. There's, I've looked into this and there is, it's a, there's a crime scene. There is a motive. There is something to be gained. This is the critical thing with it. Think outside the box. Look at all the evidence. Look from every angle on these things. But don't spend too much time on it. Because the truth for me is Paul McCartney died in a car accident. 
but don't focus on that part of it. That is irrelevant. Because the important lesson in, in, in all this is I was inspired because Paul McCartney was very influential. Anti-Vietnam War. There is a potential to have him silenced because he was making waves. I mean, you think you, you put this into the historical context of the time, the Beatles. They'd been going for a few years by that time. It was unheard of for bands to last more than two years. But they'd make, started to make it big in the United States. Coming across from Liverpool. And it was an unknown quantity. You've got people who are outspoken, who are talking to a young generation that can make a change. They were dangerous people to be saying things like anti-Vietnam War to the people that wanted this Vietnam War. Because wars make money. You start crossing into realms where you're put, making yourself a target, just as I'm, I'm doing now. If somebody doesn't in authority doesn't like what I'm saying, if I was to come up with something that replaces petrol and gives free energy, I'm going to make myself a target. Well, do you know what? Bring it on. Because this human shell is a bloody prison to me. I could do so much more because I am aware of so much more. I know what we are. We are not this flesh and blood thing. We are in this reality. And this reality we can change. Just by simply changing the way we think about things. So I'm going to say think about that. So don't forget, check out Cryon, check out Cosmic Christie, check out the Facebook group Time for a Change. Every story has to start somewhere. It all has key characters in it. I'm not a key character as such, I'm just one of many that is spreading a message of truth. And a lot of people aren't going to like the truth. I hope some of you will resonate with the way I'm saying it. Other people will, will feel happier with the way other people say things. But the truth is the truth. It's as simple as that. So, anyway, rant over and peace and love to you. And I'm going to keep making these videos. And I'm going to keep on making these videos. And I'm going to get this world we want created one way or another. I can't do it on my own, but I'm reaching out to you and I'm spreading this message. And yes, Misty, I love you. There, you want me to say it? I ain't afraid to say it. I think you're awesome. I think you're fantastic. I think you have a creative genius about you. So I'm just adding that personal message on to the end of this. You didn't think I'd do it, did you? Well, I am. Okay, thank you very much.